This video is proudly brought to you by Hovertech. Hovertech. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to fix internet connections, internet connection problem on a BlackBerry. Now, in this video tutorial, I will be explaining how you can solve a situation in which you have a valid internet connection, but for one reason or the other, your application just can't connect to the internet, your browser just can't connect to the internet. So basically, it's more or less like you don't have an internet connection. Alright, one we'll continue two methods here the TCP IP method and the host routing table also. So the first thing you want to do is to expand this list. Then scroll down to your options. Now under options you click on device. Now the, the method might vary with with device, but generally this is just basically what we are looking for. On that device, you go to your advanced system settings. Now we are looking for TCP IP. All right, here we are. So what we are going to do here basically is to supply your network's APN, username and password if they do have. For MTN, their APN is web.gprs.mtnnigeria.net, username and password web web. For etalat is etalat.com.ng, no username or password. For etel is internet.ng.zin.com, no username or password. For glow is glow flat, username flat, password flat. So basically, you just get the APN for the network you want to use and supply it here. So for MTN, let's use MTN as an example here. I'll just type web.gprs. Dot MTN sorry, Nigeria dot net. Web dot GPRS dot MTN Nigeria dot net. So for username and password, all you need to do is tick this box here for it to be able to supply username and a password. But if your network doesn't have username and password, you just untick this box. You don't have to supply any value here. When you are done, you just press this menu button and then you click on save and you are done for that so the next thing we'll be doing is the host routing table the host routing table basically contains records for your wireless networks so what you'd want to do is if you don't have any entries here or if if we have some entries here but you still wish to refresh the table what you just need to click is this menu button and click on register now then you should get an sms telling your handheld has been registered so that's basically what you just do